Hi hey guys, Chris and PJ here live in the Dream Giveaway Garage. Happy Tuesday to you, Christopher. Happy Tuesday to all of our fans out there, PJ. We're excited, it's a big week. Big week indeed, because in two days, in about 10 hours or so, that's your last chance to win this 57 Chevy. We're gonna fire it up today and we're gonna fire it up again on Thursday. And speaking of all this firing it up, we've, we've got a great new a feature for our Facebook channel and our YouTube channel that we're going to share with you guys. But first, who's out there, PJ? Yeah, we're still getting there. <laughs> Very good. Well, remember, this is a Restobot 1957 Chevy. That means it's got a 350 cubic inch carbureted engine, much bigger in displacement than was available from your Chevy dealer in 1957. Why, what could you have gotten in the Chevy dealership? 283 was the V8 that year. So much a smaller uh, V8 as far as displacement is concerned. They're both still considered Gen 1 Chevy small blocks, uh, but the bore and the stroke are, are certainly different on them. Isn't that correct, everybody? That is. Yeah, 350 didn't come out until, oh, 69? I think 69. Before then, you could get, on a small block, you'd get a 327 on a, Big block, you'd get either a 396 or a 427, right? In fact, in 69 on the Camaro, I think you could get a 307, depending on what time of the year you, you buy your car from the, the factory, 307 or 327, or a 350 if you got a small block Super Sport, correct? Roger says, my beautiful Inca Silver 57 it Resto. Really is. And I'll tell you, yes, I know that the Bel Airs came with gold trim, but it's a resto mod. And so this silver with the Inca silver, or the chrome with the Inca silver, really looks good together. We're so excited about that. And that's what's fun about a resto mod. You can keep it as classic as you want, and you can keep it as modern as you want. And I think that the people who built this one, really did a fantastic job on keeping that entire classic vibe and just giving you the modern amenities that you need. A good reliable engine with some horsepower, a five speed, you couldn't get a five speed, of course, you couldn't get a four speed in 57. You could get a three speed on the column and I don't think that a three on the floor became available. Could you get it on the floor? I don't think you could get it on the floor until 59, but I might be incorrect on that. Joe says, uh, happy Tuesday, gentlemen. That 57 is such a nice classic. Chris is correct once again. 69 was the first year of the 350. There you go. Oh, I'm so glad I was right on that That's one. right. And uh, talking about right, we've got, you know, uh, Sylvia and Ed were in here the other day. And they had an idea. And they didn't even know they had an idea. And PJ was listening to them. And so what they do is, they, after watching our Fire It Up Friday, they go into their garage and they fire up their car, right? That's right. And so that gave, gave PJ the idea, what if we have a fan Fire It Up Friday? So in other words, you guys send us a video of you firing up your cool car and we'll pick one on Friday, every Friday, we'll fire yours up first and then we'll Later in the episode, we'll fire up what we're firing up in the Dream Giveaway Garage. So it's going to give a chance for all of our Facebook fans to see what you have in your garage, and it'll give you a special shout out on our channel as well. I think it's an A plus idea. What yeah, do you guys I'd love say? to see you guys firing up your stuff and we can showcase what you've got. Right, so we don't have the email address yet that you can send those videos to, but we're working on that. Meanwhile, Take your camera, phone, go fire up the coolest car you've got in your garage. And then in a couple of days, we'll give you a process by which you can get that video to us. And then every Friday, we'll pick a different one. Yeah, we'll get a phone number up there. You can text it right, right from your phone. That's what we'll do. Oh, uh, that sounds so cool. Ricky says it needs some flamethrowers in the exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you. That would be kind of 50s, wouldn't it? You know what it's missing? The old curb feelers. You guys remember the curb feelers? <laughs> PJ, that, are you old enough uh, to know what no, a curb feeler I, I is? No, I actually know. I'm... So, Roger, tell PJ what a curb feeler is, please. Not saying you're old enough to know what one is. I'm old enough to know what one is. So it was this little metal rod that came off 
uh, the side here. And because the car is so large and you can't see down there to the wheels, you'd feel that curb feeler rubbing against the curb to tell you you were close. That way you weren't rubbing your wheel, you'd rub the curb feeler. Hmm. Ah, those are the days. How about the plastic vinyl all over the seat covers? PJ, you told me you remember yeah, that. I do, I totally do that. Yeah, um, Grandma used to have the plastic yeah. vinyl over the bench seats. Could have Rock sworn, on, I Grandma. could have sworn we had a car like that. Roger <laughs> says, I know they were called Dagmars on the caddies. How about Chevy? I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know what they were called uh, on the Chevy. That's a good question for me. I have to, have to look that up. So, you guys have two days, about 10 hours left to enter to win. Let's fire up, PJ. Uh, Larry says, classic style with modern drivetrain, best yeah. of two worlds. Yeah, it really is. So remember, this thing is oh so easy. Classic pedals here. Uh, no trim around the pedals. Super easy. Give it two pumps of the gas. Wow. There you go. There you go. You gotta love that cam. Got a great loaf to it. Setting into a very nice idle. There we go. That's got a nice rumble. It's got a really nice rumble to it. And if it was dark in here, you know what? PJ, turn off the lights and let me turn on the uh, dash illumination. Is that okay? I think I can get all the lights from right here. Can you from over there? <laughs> I guess I could. Okay, PJ's walking over to the light switch. <laughs> never know what, you're doing what Chris is gonna ask. And the reason here. that he's doing that, there we go, here we go. Now we're all, oh, you wanna, look at that. Yeah, there you go, guys. I love it. There you go. Now check this out. Check this out. This is the first time. It took us 11 months to do this, PJ. I know. We, uh, why we never did it before. Right. Look at the glow on those lights. And oh, they're over here. They match over here. I wonder if you close your door if you don't get the dome light off. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Not, now look at the gauges. Is that fantastic? Cruising at night in your 57 Chevy. Oh, man. But the front end looks just like a coming out of a movie. How's it look, everybody? How's it look at nighttime? Better yet, how's it going to look in your garage? You cruising at nighttime. Okay. Get all the lights back up and running here. PJ, I'm very pleased that we did that. Yeah. Because it really gave it a different, different view, right? That's right. So you guys got two days, 10 hours left. Get your entries at dreamgiveaway.com. PJ. Lance Oil says, awesome ride. Uh -huh. Lance Oil is the awesome place. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Kathy, National Relaxation Day oh, right that, in the oh, Bel Air. I forgot all about that because it has not been a very relaxing National Relax uh, <laughs> Relaxation Day. There's been a lot going uh, on here. Uh, but there is plenty of room. To take a nap in here. To take a nap in the back seat. The California car cover is there. And plenty of room if you're... Uh, don't have time to stop at a hotel on that journey across Route 66. Go ahead, crash in the back seat. Oh, I shouldn't say the word crash, should I? <laughs> Jonathan Take a nap. says, sounds beautiful. <laughs> it does. Uh, TJ says, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Tommy again with sounds great. Oh, PJ, you know what we haven't mentioned? We had to uh, have one of our Facebook fans take a vow of secrecy today, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> through the magic of going through frame by frame of all of our videos. Correct. Big shout out to Michael, who already is pretty darn close on what's going to be launching here, which I call the most amazing dream giveaway in the history of dream giveaway. Uh, so a big shout out to Michael. But Michael, remember, you have vowed secrecy and thou <laughs> shall not reveal the information of Area 52 until October 1 at midnight. Well, as those things <laughs> pop up, these things have to end, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that's right. TJ says these hood ornaments look are also cool looking. Yeah. Yeah, very much atomic age inspired here. The rocket kind of look here. Great, great era, you know. Roger says three or four people would fit in the trunk. <laughs> there, there you go. Yeah, you could. You could uh, have a national relaxation day anywhere in this car, 
Heck, you could have it in the frunk. <laughs> Joe says uh, she looks mean in the dark. Yeah, yeah. It's really good stuff. Great card. Get your entries. Remember, there are some special promo codes that are going to be out there if you have opened an account at dreamgiveaway.com and if you have opted into our emails. So it's not too late to do that. You can do that today and you might get some extra special promo code offers in the next two days. Joe says, how many friends can you fit in the trunk heading into the drive-ins? Oh, do you remember the time that we took 16 employees here at Dream Giveaway to see if we could stuff all of us into a Mini Cooper? Yeah, we did. Yeah, it would be much easier in the 57 Chevy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there uh, James says, vintage air? Vintage air, yeah. Perfect. Vintage air, nice engine. Uh, we're going to wrap it up for today, guys, because we were running late. Thanks for watching. We'll talk more about the 57. And uh, go shoot your video for your fire it up. Go shoot your video for your fire it up, for your fan fire it up. By the end of the week, we'll have a phone number you can text that video to, and we will pick uh, every week. We'll have a new fan video for fire it up Friday. Plus, we'll fire up something here in the Dream Giveaway Garage. This, this show keeps getting better and better, PJ. <laughs> Only because of great fans like everybody who's watching. There you go. We'll see you guys tomorrow. More great fun, more great action, more great grand prizes. Like a 57 Chevy, you got two days left to enter. It only happens here in our favorite place on earth, the dream. Giveaway Garage! See you next time, everyone.